Hello everyone, welcome to Freedom Homestead. My name is Tangi and it is grocery haul time. Now this is not usually the time of the week that I get groceries. I normally go on the weekends, but I was out of town this weekend. So uh, I ran into town and picked up a few things and I will show you what I got. I just went to Walmart. So let me show you what I got and then we'll talk about a menu plan. Okay, this is it. Like I said, we didn't really need a whole lot. Uh, so we will start down here with this flat of strawberries. These are big, beautiful strawberries. They still have the long stems on them. I think these are uh, meant to be for ones that you dip in chocolate. Um, but yeah, looks very, very yummy. Got this container of spinach dip. We really, really like the spinach dip. This is the first time I have bought eggs in a really, really long time. But uh, for the last several days, our chickens have been laying an egg a day. So I just went ahead and picked up this dozen of eggs. Got this bottle of green machine juice. This was the only bag of onions the whole store had. Um, every single other variety of onions was completely out. So I got this bag of white onions. Got one container of original sour cream. Got this big bag of the Marina Pure Cane Sugar. I used the last bit of my avocado oil today, so I needed to get another bottle. Funny story on the kombucha. I went to brew some tea for our kombucha, and when I took the towel off of my SCOBY, uh, it was completely dry. It was even stuck to the bottom of the jar. So obviously it's been a while since I've looked at it. So I got this bottle to grow another SCOBY. I have a video on that. I will link that down in the description box below. Over here, we've got our French vanilla coffee creamer and they actually had this zero sugar Willy Wonka chocolate factory uh, coffee creamer. So I was super pumped about that. I grabbed that for me. We have almost a gallon of milk, so I just grabbed half a gallon, so that way we would have it in case we needed it. Gotta have the Duke's mayonnaise. I'm just about out of what I've got. Grab some sliced Colby Jack for sandwiches, as well as some oven roasted turkey breast. So you got a box of thin spaghetti, and someone requested that I grab a box of these oatmeal cream pies. So got those, got this bag of fresh green beans. This is actually for a canning project. I got these two salad kits. They both look delicious. This everything chopped kit and this is a bacon ranch crunch. Both sounded really good. Got a box of chocolate chip chewy granola bars. Y'all, I finally found an organic tortilla chip that Jack likes. I am so happy about this. It's this, late July, organic sea salt, thin and crispy. I think the thin and crispy is the key, plus the fact that it has really good flavor. But yeah, I was super happy about that. Okay, so for those of you who saw my video on how to make your own laundry soap, you might be wondering why in the world I have this jug of game. Well, wouldn't you know that someone in our family might be allergic to the homemade stuff. So we are switching back to what we have used for years and seeing if it clears up the problem. And if it does, then I guess we'll be switching back to this. So this is an experiment, kind of bummed about it, but it is what it is. Okay, so let's talk about menu. And I'm gonna look over here because I've got it written down. Okay, so um, I am currently working on a ferment for a video that is uh, that started by Anna over at Fermented Homestead. We are doing a collaboration in February for fermentations. And I am currently fermenting Cortito. And um, that is something that's really good on like tacos and nachos and things like that. So this should be ready in a few days. Um, and when it is, we will have tacos. So you're going to have tacos and Cortito one day. Um, I am going to be making the stroganoff and egg noodles that I've been promising you guys. Um, that's going to come out hopefully soon. Um, stuffed peppers. I bought peppers last week, but we didn't get a chance to eat them. So I still have everything to make that. I still have everything for shrimp and grits. 
Um, roast chicken and green beans. I actually roasted two chickens today, which you will probably see that in my vlog. Um, but I roasted two chickens. I pulled all the meat off the bone and um, I currently have bone broth going on over here, which is going to get canned. Um, but instead of doing the roast chicken and green beans, I ended up doing, um, let me show you. <laughs> this is what is left of the uh, white cheddar broccoli chicken and rice casserole that I made. I had some uh, leftover rice from last night's dinner. I took some of that chicken that I pulled off the bone. I mixed it with some mayonnaise and some organic cream of chicken soup, some seasonings, the broccoli, and I had a block of white cheddar cheese, and that's what that is, and it was really good. Okay, and then I also have on here chicken pot pie or chicken and biscuits. So I am going to be filming tomorrow. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna be filming uh, a canuary video for chicken pot pie filling, uh, which is what the green bean, the fresh green beans are for. Um, and then once I make it, I will film another video showing you how to prepare it for uh, chicken pot pie. So it's going to be really simple, and I'm super excited to share that with you guys. So that is going to be our menu for the week. Also, I do know that um, uh, church this week. Wednesday night Bible study, um, dinner will also be served. So I may not have to cook that night, which is always a plus. Okay, so that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found the menu plan helpful. Um, until next time, remember to be vigilant, be prayerful and be prepared and we will catch you in the next one. God bless you all. Bye.